Hello! I'm going to quickly show how to install mods for DMZ5 and IO2 using Fluffy Manager 5000. The mod manager works with a bunch of other games as well, but I'm, I'm going to focus on these two games. So first of all, you want to download the mod manager, and then you just unpack it wherever you want, it doesn't matter, wherever you like to store random programs. And then you'll want to boot up the mod manager. And you'll see this, where you like uh, choose starting game, we'll go with DMZ5 here. So when you do this, uh, this makes the mod manager automatically create the folder for where it uh, checks um, it checks mods from. So if I go to games, dmg 5 mods, and right here I have a playable lady mod. I just move that over to the mods folder, and then go back to the mod manager, click on manage mods. I had the mod manager running while I was doing this, so this means I have to click on refresh list to make it become aware of the mod I moved over. And here's playable lady, so I'll just click it. And the check mark indicates that it's been installed. So then I just uh, go ahead and launch the game. So here I am in the, in the game in Bloody Palace. I've selected Dante, who should now be a lady. In other words, it's greatly improved. So I'll just uh, boot this up, and it's loading. And here we go. So, if you for some reason become tired of playing as later, you just uh, quit the game, click on the mods, and then it's uninstalled. Easy peasy. Yeah, by the way, um, uh, you can launch the game via the mod manager, but you don't have to. That's only there just an op as an optional quick way to, to boot up the game. And uh, I quickly want to explain one thing. So, occasionally you will come across mods which aren't like in a RAR file which the mod manager can just read straight from. Like this is more common with games which aren't DMC5 or RE2. So if I go to RE6 here and I, I just pretend this mod is something I would not be able to use a RAR file for. I'll just extract it here and then with RAR file. So if you ever come across mods where you have to where you have to unpack them like this, you want to make sure that the directory stru structure is like this, where it's R6 mods and then a folder for the mod and inside here you might have a readme or something and then a folder called native PC or in the case of DMC5 or R2 it should say natives. That's just something to keep in mind. So, um, so I'll show off a R2 mod as well here. So I'll go to um, menu, change game to Resident Evil 2, manage mods and let's see, I'll go with the lady mod. That installed, launch the game. So here I am in the game, so if I were to boot up campaign now, then Claire would be Lady. But I want to show one specific other feature in the Mon Manager, so if I go to Menu, Activate Trainer, there's an inbuilt trainer here, even though it only really has one function. I can go to Swap Character, I'll replace Daniel with Claire, aka Lady, go back to the game. And if I now go and start No Way Out, Daniel should be Lady. And there we go, it worked. So this can be used pretty reliably for all of the bonus modes, but if you try to swap characters in the campaign, then you will occasionally run into some annoying crashes or loadings which never ends, because, well, it's, it's not very stable for the campaign. So that covers all of the basics for the mod manager. There's a couple of things I want to quickly explain here. So, for instance, if a game gets uh, patched while you have a mod installed, the mod manager might become a little bit confused about the state of the game because it'll think a specific mod is installed, but maybe the patch would have overwritten the files for the mod. So in case that ever happened... Uh, by the way, this hasn't actually been a problem with DMC5 or R2 so far, but I should explain the situation anyway. So I'll just like quit the game here. So what you want to do if this happens is that you want to make sure that all mods are uninstalled in the mod manager. And then you go over to Steam, you right-click the game, Properties, and uh, Local Files. I'm going to click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will uh, make Steam check if any files are in a modified state, and then re-download them. Uh, um, I mean, re-download them so they're all fine. And once you've done that, you want to go back to the Mod Manager and uh, click on Reread Game Archives, and then everything is fine. By the way, you always want to click on this button whenever you get a patch for the game. This makes it so the mod manager becomes aware of the new patch files for the game.
And that should be basically it. I have a forum thread with even more information about the mod manager, and I'll have a link to that. And if anyone ever has a problem with the mod manager, I recommend replying to that thread. I think that's the easiest place to reach me. And uh, I'll also have links to a couple of places where you can find mods for Resident Evil 2 and DMC5. And uh, yeah, with that, have fun modding. Have fun adding Lady to every game. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs>